How do you turn your followers into clients? That's probably an hour answer right there, but yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need some of these books. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, no, I mean it's being consistent, being concise, being engaging. You know, it's a lot of these things. Obviously, you know, you can type in Google, but it's the back end that people don't see or understand. Mm -hmm. Understanding what the algorithms are telling you. It's understanding that if I post at this certain time, I'm gonna probably see a two to three percent or two to three x increase in my engagement. Mm -hmm. It's understanding that if I post. Um, you know this video and people are interacting with it am I going and interacting back if they're going to my profile how am I capturing them with other useful content right if they click on my website what am I having them do it's just understanding everything you do in the digital space needs to have a purpose mm -hmm. you can have fun with it that doesn't oh, yeah. mean it needs to be this big corporate like mm -hmm. you know this is the way we do it. Oh no. I post memes, all you know, GIFs, all sorts of stuff. Oh yeah, I love those. But it's because I understand the following enjoy some of that. And right. it's not everyday content, you know, every couple weeks, you know, once a month even. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's mixing up the style of content, the time that you post the content, um, being consistent that you know you're not taking a two weeks off and then coming back for seven straight days. Right. You know, you have to have a rhyme or reason and a purpose across every digital space. You do. Um, and once people start following that and seeing that, it goes, like I said, it takes them on that journey. It's that user flow, that user experience. They start seeing you, they start recognizing you, they start following you. You've connected with them. Mm -hmm. It's being consistent, concise, and effective with your messaging. Having the purpose, having the rhyme and reason, because that's what connects us at the end of the day as humans. Your story, um, what's your story? Yeah, it, and I, you know, I don't connect with your story, I'm probably not gonna connect with you as, you know, from mm -hmm. individual to business. Right. Um, stay consistent and concise with what your end goal is, and people, people will start finding you and following you. There you go. There, there was a YouTube video I saw not too long ago with Ryan Pineda. Mm -hmm. He's a real estate investor, but former baseball player, not mm -hmm. major leagues. And he told the story, hey, I was only making like a thousand bucks, 1700 bucks a month playing this uh -huh. league of baseball. Then I got cut and I got my real estate license during this during the baseball season. Uh -huh. But I just didn't know what I was going to do afterwards. And I saw this infomercial or commercial about flipping real estate. I'm like, ah, no. I guess he took a leap of faith, maxed out his credit cards, made 25 grand with that flip. Wow. And then he launched his own real estate firm, mm -hmm. real estate investment course, wrote a book on flipping your dreams on how mm -hmm. to house flip. And he built a major social media following with that. People always want to know how, what the heck is your story? Cause you just came out of nowhere. We want to follow his journey, his exactly. story. They, yeah, exactly. I told my story in my books uh -huh. and one thing I do with my email list, it's kind of like the jab, 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 knock them out approach uh -huh. where email, I'll give you value on, you know, let's say a certain scripture in the Bible or something or value. Hey, this is my experience. And this time, you know, uh, an event happened in my life, a divorce, but it led to this, but this is what I learned from it. And then by the third or fourth email, hey, here's my book, it's out, you know, I'd love for you guys to check it out, support it, you know, yeah. then by that time you're like, okay, you gave us some value, we'll give you something. Yeah. And I think if you give enough value in the beginning, in turn, mm -hmm. when, who knows, you just, like you said, consistent, just keep on that grind, mm -hmm. people will find a way to repay you back yep. for that value you've given. It, um, you're sweating a little bit. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, yeah, no, ex you hit the nail on the head. It, uh, taking somebody on that journey with you. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you can't understand what your end goal is, it's hard to get started. True. Then you're just kind of skipping stones and, you know, see, you know, throwing things at the wall to see what sticks. It's being able to almost storyboard it. Right understand we're here here's where we want to go how do we merge the gap and like you said it really is just creating that story that journey it's you know especially once you capture somebody in the beginning and they're connected they're you have to be consistent with it oh yeah you can't just fall off and expect them to follow you if you fall off they fall off exactly it really is just a understanding of what your business is what you're trying to do and uh you know, just portraying that story. People, like I said, people get tired of the Instagram lifestyle stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where TikTok made their big blow is. Give you something it, authentic. Yeah, you can be you. Yeah. It's fine to be goofy. It's fine to show flaws. It's fine to, you know, do whatever. Mm -hmm. But if it's you and I can connect with it, it's real. Right. So I think that's 
that's what a lot of people lose just in their digital presence as a whole is, you know, what their journey is and how do you portray that journey to connect with, you know, a consumer. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. No problem. I'll put uh, Mark's uh, contact information description. Thank you again, you guys, for watching your come up. Tune in next time. And today's episode was sponsored by Yapix Web Design and Graphics. Until next time.